I'm going to apply Too Faced Shadow Insurance Primer with my ring fingers on my eyelids. Before I go in with this shade, Samuel, from the Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye Palette. This is a dusty fawn. It's sort of a muted medium dark brown. It has warm undertones and a demi matte finish. And I'm going to apply that with my Morphe 208 brush. And I'm just going to pack it on from lashes to brow bone. Now I'm going to apply this ColourPop Super Shock Shadow in Melrose. This is a rust color. It's an intense medium dark copper brown. It has orange and red undertones and a demi matte finish. And I'm going to apply that with my Morphe 200 brush, sweeping it back and forth, sort of in a big C motion. I want to leave the center clear for the Anastasia shadows I want to put in there. But I want this color to peek out above the crease so that you can still see it. And you just keep going back and forth to soften this color because it is very intense. And now I'm going to take my Anastasia Beverly Hills color and Rosette. This is a medium dark plum. It has warm coppery undertones and a pearly sheen. I'm going to apply that with a thicker side of my Urban Decay Naked 3 eyeshadow brush. And just pat that on in the center. Be careful not to go above the crease because you still want to be able to see that color pop shadow. I love this color though. It goes on so smooth and I love the sheen that it has. I didn't even have to spray my brush with a Fix Plus or anything to make it have that pop. And now I'm going to go back in with that Morphe 200 brush and I'm going to blend and blend. Back with my Morphe 208 brush for any cleanup and to keep under the brow area bright. I'm applying one coat of Clinique Mascara. And while that dries, I'm going to apply the Laura Geller Spackle Treatment in Even Tone. This is a pinky peach primer. This is perfect for a sheer to medium coverage foundation or to wear alone. Now I'm going to take this Urban Decay Naked Skin Color Correcting Fluid in green and apply that with my IT Cosmetics Concealer 212 brush, sprayed with MAC Fix Plus to easily blend out the concealer. Then I'm going to layer IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye in Neutral Medium. This is thick so I use my concealer brush to spread it evenly where I've dotted it. Then I go back in with my fingers to pat and smooth it out. I love this concealer. Sometimes I wear it by itself. It has such a natural radiance to it. It is really thick though. You could wear it as your actual base if you wanted to. Taking some of my favorite lashes by House of Lashes, these are in Featherette. I'm going to apply that with Duo Brush on Adhesive. I like this glue a lot better than the tubes. It's not as thick a formula, it smells better and it's easier to control. And you can find that at CVS or Walgreens. I finally got Thunderstruck eyeshadow by Kat Von D. I snapped up the last one in Raleigh the other week. This is the perfect inner eye highlight, brow bone highlight, sometimes even pop that on my cupid's bow. It's a metallic pearl, bright and white gold beige with warm undertones and a very subtle pink tinge. I apply that with a flatter side of my Urban Decay Naked 3 eyeshadow brush. I'm going to go over the band of my lashes with my favorite liquid liner at the moment, Smashbox Limitless Liquid Liner Jet Black. Now I'm going to take a light spritz of Love and Roses Beauty Mist on my Morphe 439 brush before I apply Beauty Counter Tint Skin Complexion Coverage in Linen. And I love the Beauty Counter foundation. It's, it's sheer, but it gives the perfect amount of coverage and it also really brightens up the skin. And I love it because it doesn't have a bunch of harsh chemicals in it. I've been using it for almost six months now and my skin hasn't been breaking out as bad as it was before. Using a medium sized fluffy brush by Real Techniques, I'm going to lightly dust Laura Mercier translucent powder over my face for a silky canvas to easily apply blush and contour powders. I'm going to use MAC Blush and Well Dressed with my Ella Mascara blush brush, starting on the apples and sweeping it up toward my temples. I'm going to 
clean it up with my foundation brush before I go in with these two contour shades from Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit in Light to Medium. Recycling my powder brush for a soft focus, subtle contour rather than a structured one. Misting my face with Love and Roses before I apply Laura Mercier Highlighter in 01. It has glycerin in it, so I like to spray it on my face or my highlighter brush, which lately has been by Real Techniques, to really make my highlighter pop. Using Brow Definer Pencil by Anastasia Beverly Hills in dark brown, I'm pretty much just going to follow the natural shape of my brows. Coating the bottom lashes with Clinique Mascara before running Urban Decay Eyeliner in Zero on my waterline. And then I'm going to prep my lips for a double dose of Anastasia Beverly Hills Lip Rio with my go-to lip balm by Jack Black. You really want to make sure your lips are smooth and moisturized before you apply anything matte. The first coat of color is Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Lipstick in Rio. I never stay inside the lines, especially with liquid lipsticks, so I'm going to clean up the edges with my concealer brush and Urban Decay Naked Concealer in Light Warm. Now I'm adding the Anastasia Beverly Hills Lip Gloss in Rio, applying just the center area of my mouth for a plumper look. I'm giving myself a kitten eye with the Smashbox liquid liner and connecting it with the outer corner of my bottom liner for an almond shaped wide eyed look. Finally, I'm setting my brows with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel. 